right, hey, Gemini. I am doing the... Is this the one spread? For those of you who are with somebody and you're just unsure of what it is, if the story fits, then it's yours, okay? Um, regardless of where you're at in the process of this relationship, whether it's new, old, stagnant, exciting, whatever. If the story fits, it's yours. Okay. I'm just going to get the spread out. Already a major, major, major arcana everywhere, Gemini. Okay. And for Gemini. Okay, does this person have the potential to be the one for Gemini? And does the situation involve commitment? Okay, overall energy at the bottom of the deck, we have the wedding. Okay. All right, look at this. Gemini, what is going on with you or them? Okay, does this um does this person have the potential to be the one? Okay, Ugh, I'm getting the chills. I feel weird about this. Okay, I feel like it's your person. Um, I feel like they are feeling bound to something for sure. Why am I getting the chills so bad? I have no idea, but okay. This person that you are with right now, um, they have some things that they need to release, okay? This is not telling you to free yourself. I feel like this is what your person needs to do. And I feel like if anybody's going to wake them up, Gemini, it's going to be you, okay? This person, I feel like, um, dang, I could, I feel like they're, they could be um, using, you know, like um, drugs of some sort. Um, I do feel like this is an important relationship, for whatever it's supposed to be. I feel like it's important, um, but I feel like this person needs help. Okay. I feel like they need help They're They need help. Um, and I feel like it's going to be more help than you can give them to be honest. Okay. Um, and just remember that we can't fix everybody. Okay. But I feel like you've met this person and you're like, they mean everything to me, but you can't fix them. And the universe isn't going to let you try Okay. Um, does the situation involve commitment? We have the world card coming out, angel of success, and stay optimistic about your love life. So, does the situation involve commitment? Um, I'm going to say not right now, okay? Um, not right now, it does not. Uh, all right, there's some things that need to be fixed um, with that person, and... I don't feel like you're the one that's supposed to fix them, okay? Because we're not, well, we can help people, but we can only help them so far. Um, I have a Facebook and there's a lot of low vibrational energies on my page or on my friends list. And um, no, I don't know everybody on there, but I'm doing, I, the only reason why I add people is so that I can um, get the support I need for my channels that I have. Um, but there's a lot of low vibrational frequencies and they reach out to me and I'm like, I can help you, but only if you take my advice. Well, when you're dealing with people that are in low or negative um, frequencies, we can't fit, we can't help them. We can give them all the advice in the world, but I mean, if they are covering life up by substance abuse, I mean, are they, they're not doing anything, you know, um, they're slowing the process of what needs to happen is all. 
Okay, coming out in um, the conflicted influence position, we have the high priestess, the angel of power. And I feel like why this is here is because this person that you are dealing with, they do have the power to help heal themselves and get the help they need. But I feel like this is coming out in the um, conflicting influences position because this person is releasing their power to lower um, vibrational energies. Okay, favorable influences. King of Wands, King of Swords, Decisions, and Wedding. Okay. What I feel like this is saying to you, Gemini. Gemini. This is even your energy right here, King of Swords. Um, okay. I feel like what your team is saying is you need to embody your own energy. Make the decision, okay? Because, listen... Even if you want to marry this person right now, it says the situation involves marriage. I'm sure at some point it'll involve a deeper level of commitment, but not right now. And I feel like the decision, you already know what you need to do um, because you can't help this person. And I feel like when you pull back your energy, it's not like you're giving them an ultimatum. I really feel like it's going to be one of those situations where you're like, um, this is not healthy for me to be with you. Okay. It's not healthy for me to be here with you because I am... Um, I feel like you're vibrating at different, uh, a frequency, um, too, but I also feel like, uh, um, it's not healthy for you to stay there. Like, I don't know if maybe you have kids or something, but it's not healthy. It's like physically not healthy for you to be with this person. Like this will affect you like a custody agreement. Like, I feel like this is going to affect your world, um, I'm not necessarily seeing this as a divinely guided union, so I don't feel like it's a twin flame. I feel like there's a karmic lesson here, okay? Um, but if you feel like it's deeper than a karmic lesson, um, you know, that's on you to decide, okay? For me, what I'm seeing as a reader, I don't feel like it's anything deeper than a karmic. Um, but if you feel like it's deeper, I feel like the only way you are going to pull this person out of it is to pull back your energy. You got to get yourself out of the situation because right now, I almost feel like um, you being there enables that person. And it's not because you're doing anything wrong. No, this person, I almost feel like they're like, oh, this person ain't going to ever leave me. You know what I mean? And it just kind of enables. Uh, and I almost feel like this person doesn't work either. Um I feel like you could do better, um, to be honest. That's just the feeling I'm getting. And I'm getting the chills again. I'm not trying to make anybody mad. I just feel like uh, this person should be treating you how you've been treating them, which I feel like is kind and loving, okay? Um, yeah. Okay. What can you do to help this situation? You have the Nine of Cups. Blessings. I feel like the blessing here is you pulling away your energy because when this person realizes that the only person that loves them back in the world is gone, that's going to be when they wake up to the change that they should make. Okay. You can't, you can't fix them. You can't make them, but I do feel like you could pull back your energy and that might help expedite their process of, uh, um, actually trying to heal themselves from whatever is going on, you know? All right. So advice. We have the Page of Swords, and I feel like this person, um, once you pull back your energy, potentially will be acting like a page, okay? I feel like they're going to be immature. They're going to be like, oh, you don't care about me. You don't love me. You don't da 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 da, da. But I feel like this person is, um, they're in this, uh, I don't know if you've ever done drugs before, but, um, you know, I've been in a bad way myself um, before, and I'm not um, embarrassed or shy to admit my past because my past made me who I am today. But I feel like this person is going to go, um, just right back to grade school type of energy and nobody cares about me. Nobody's ever liked me, but it's like, no, I'm not going to have my kids around this or myself. Like you're not being healthy and I don't want to be a part of it. You know what I mean? Um, the outcome, we have the King of Pentacles. All right. And this is, um, you know, well, it speaks of generosity, but I feel like the biggest gift you're going to give this person is pulling your energy away because even if it is a karmic and you guys don't end up back together, I feel like there is potential there, but even if you guys don't end up back together, 
this person's going to wake up and realize that they have to be better for themselves. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm going to pull a power thought card for you guys. Sorry, I've been vaping because um, I've been doing these readings, okay? And Sagittarius, oh my god, Sagittarius and Capricorn, they fucked me up, man. Crying and shit, Jesus. In a good way, it was a nice read, it made me cry. Bottom of the deck, you're coming out with purpose. You possess the determination and de dedication to consciously demonstrate love. Sometimes you can only love somebody from afar. Ownership. You acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons, even this one. Okay? So, Gemini, those are your messages for the spread, and I will see you guys soon.